Hello, everyone. We are live. I feel like crying. <laughs> so happy. I feel like crying. Yay. Okay. So, huh, boy, that was some work. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, we kept trying, so we did get on. Haven't switched over yet. There you go. All right. Um. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Timothy. Hi, Brian. Hi, Bri. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay. So we are working with the shaker die, and as you know, um, our, the Scrappy Boy design team has already knocked this out of the park. Um, it was when I was coming on board, um, the die had already been out, so I was like, oh no, I need that one. I need to create with it. So as you know, Timothy, if you look back, uh, he, he is uh, with us. Um, so if you have any questions or if you're watching the replay and have any questions about his video, he was nice enough to um, to join me today um, to see if you had any questions about the Shaker video. I actually watched the video again and got a great inspiration from it. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Uh, I'm also going to show you a couple other tips and tricks. We're just going to go over the die um, so that way everybody's familiar with it. Timothy already did an amazing job. He's linked his video in my last live post. And what I'll do is once I post this live, I will link his video in YouTube. It's on the Scrappy Boy channel. And he does a wonderful job of cutting and um, showing you how to put the shaker die together. And then he even, at the end of the video, shows you how to do... Um, you know the 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 basic card die with with the little pieces which we'll get into but um he was amazing so there's no reason for me to go back over something that was so amazing so i'm just gonna kind of just go with it i was trying to get some of the um you'll if you go back you'll see some of the other amazing um designs uh that that are out here with this um uh, with this die. So this is the dress shape die card. And, um, aww. Well, you are, Timothy. I'm serious. Like, I was so inspired. I, I think I literally stayed up to like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, just because I, I got this great idea from... He, what he does is he makes you think outside the box. And that's what a great design team, um person is supposed to do and so you know hey I even though I'm part of the design team I still uh, get inspiration from my design team um, all the time so uh, that's what's great about it so okay so for those I think um, Gwen do you already have the die I just wanted to ask while you're on here um, so this is how the die comes make sure and, uh, I, yeah, we wouldn't be live if it wasn't for Matthew. Thank goodness. He knows what he's doing with the computer. Hi, Gwen. Hey, Timothy. How you doing? And Bree. Bree's on oh, here, Bree. too. How you yep. doing, Bree? Let's see, make it Let me slide back over. <laughs> I do have a, another cam that I'm trying. Um, yeah, so, hi. <laughs> um, so, uh... Perfect, perfect. Am I saying hi to you? Um, so this die comes in, and my kitty is, um, QT Kitty's here too. Um, this is this is the whole die. Timothy already went over it. I'm not going to go over it again. If you haven't watched this video, please watch it. I'm, I'm going to keep reminding you. Um, this is the whole die, which what I went ahead and did is just for purposes of this video. Um, I cut it out in white. Um, so that's your whole your whole set here. And then we have the 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 pieces. So 
to keep mine so I don't lose it. We have your piece right here. And then all of these that go right here. So many different ways you can create with this. And then these are, are on the sleeves. And he, he does a great job sh showing you that on his video as well. And then the flower. Can't forget the flower. Which is this guy. And then this one over here is the, the, uh, the big thick one. So, and then you have a circle, which I always keep. I mean, it's a perfect, perfect circle. So, okay. So now that you know all the pieces and where they go, it's just one of those dies I feel like, and I'm sure, you, please tell me if you agree, which I'm sure you, sure you will. You just, it's like, oh, what do I do with this? You know, and it's like, oh, there's just so many different things because you have your scallop side here. You have your straight line here. You can decorate the inside of the card. You can decorate the out. So I'm going to show you before we get to the shaker card, some of the ideas that I came up with. Um, I, like I said, it, um, I've been kind of develop <laughs> developing them. Um, let me put this to the side here. And one of the things too, I know Timothy, another thing that I loved about Timothy's video is he shows you how to cut the die out with regular cutting dies. Now I have invested in um, the longer versions. So even if you don't have these, you can still cut this die out um, with, uh, with the standard standard size this I think this is the extra extra long so um, there is still a way to use the regular ones and he does an excellent job of showing you that so um so one of the things I thought of um, and I will be finishing these but I kind of just wanted to show you a, a few things is now, I'm going to see if you guys can guess where I'm going with this. We've got this. Now, what I did is instead of using the card as the die, I, um, I went ahead and kept it. I just folded this piece and kept it um, using the, the straight side um, at the bottom. And then, yes, he's got it. <laughs> Minnie Mouse. So guess where I get this bow at? Um, guess, guess, guess. Um, we just came out with it, our last release. It was um, the uh, Hello Everyone stamp um, stencil, sorry. And I just used, what I did is the same piece that I cut the, the front die out in. I literally just traced what was this over here traced it and cut it out so and then just popped out of it so I haven't decided all what I'm gonna do um, but see there's there's my first idea so I mean you don't even have to use it as a card <laughs> thanks Gwen you're sweet um, you don't even have to use you can just put it on a card, you know, and actually this die is big. So I do want to let you know, this is not an A2, A2 size base. This is like more like an A7, but it's, but it's five inches or it's, yeah, it's five by six and a half. So, um, it's not quite to the seven, the five by seven of the A the A7 base. So, um, but, but it works. It works. It works. Okay. So then my next idea, oh, I was just, I was so inspired. <laughs> um, my next idea, I was thinking of a wedding dress. And so same, same concept, same, you've got your big piece here. And this one I was going to put together, but then I, then we progressed to the shaker card, which I'll get to. So I love the fact that you can just put a strip um, you can, um, I was even thinking of putting vellum on top of it and somehow 
Um, I want to, what I want to do is I want to pull up these and, and put the flowers there, but for simple purposes, let's put a flower here and you can leave it just like that. Um, you can put the flowers three, three down. I mean, there's just so many different ways you could do this dye. And I was thinking of using this for a wedding card. I have a wedding coming up. And somehow like put Mr. and Mrs. And then you open it up and then you have, um, I was going to put um, the same on this side. Uh, which both of these dies, the, the inner dies, as you know, the, the two black ones that I showed you is this one. And then this, this one fits over. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let me show you because I'll talk but this one you know would fit over here um actually no well you could do it that way but you want your card base so you would just cut this part flat out like that so just cut another piece out i don't know but that's that's one of the ideas i had i could just do so many okay so this was my original idea when i first got the die um, this is how out of the box that I was. Um, this is wrapping paper. So this was on, um, like a Mother's Day, um, bag. And what I did is I cut out half side of the bag. The top portion was the flowers, was this part. And the bottom of the bag was this. And I thought, I just, I don't know if you guys do this when you go out, but non-traditional things for crafting, like I, for some reason, fell in love with this. And I thought, you know, that would be perfect. Like you don't even have to put anything down. Um, and, and it turns into, you know, to the perfect. So, you know, even if you did something like this, I would probably go more plain because if I was giving this as a card, I'd, I mean, you could write over that, but, but that's, that's how, how how you can just let your mind go. Um, another, I just have paper, but this is supposed to be for ideas. So another idea is gold. You can do the gold on gold, um, the bronze. I mean, I'm so ready to, to make these cards. There was one other set, yeah. So like I was talking about the vellum. We've got, um, like, wouldn't this be a pretty set right here? These colors, you can do pattern on pattern. Um, but I was thinking, look how pretty this vellum is. This vellum with the dress, that would be a, a beautiful spring dress um, with a, a black card base. I think that would be beautiful. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, one more, one more. Sorry, sorry. So let's take this card base. Another thing you can do is um, any stencils you have. So let's say, um, you know, with the, um, with the burlesque release. I love the pattern of the stencil. You can make your own dress. You can get out your distress inks and put the stencil on there and stencil your own dress. Um, you can literally make it however you want. I really want to do this, but um, it, it seems very tedious. Uh, see these sequins? What I would love to do is make the dress and then literally put the sequins and have them rows on down. We'll see if I get that ambitious, but I mean, hey, you can you can literally do <laughs> do anything. I just I just think it's 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 amazing. Okay. So this is what um, Timothy, when I watched his video, what he inspired me. Um, so it's, I would say it was more of a, a clean and simple card. Um, but this is it. So instead of having the dress die, you can literally just make the dress cut out. So what I did is I cut, I used this die, this one right here, and I used, oh, come on. This tape is 
still strong after. So I use this die and I use the negative. So I purp purposely set this down, um, use the tape, ran it through. I went ahead and cut out. This is your um, your five by um, five by six and a half. So it's not five by seven, but five by six and a half. And um, it's a nice size card. It's it's big, but um, thank you. Appreciate that, Timothy. Um, I was thinking, what other way can we make a shaker card? Because, you know, he's like telling me to think outside the box. So when I saw the negative space, I thought, you know, that kind of looks a little quirky, you know, kind of big. But, you know, once you, I mean, these flowers look perfect with it. And I was going to throw them all in there. But I literally want to go through um, and make this card with you because it is on a bigger scale. We'll go through it quickly, but I don't want to keep you all night. We're already running <laughs> far behind. But with a cute sentiment, so <laughs> I picked out this sentiment. Um, and at the, I think this is Timothy's favorite, um, is the bur burlesque um, cute um, curve appeal, the burlesque beauties. But um, I pick confidence is the cutest thing a woman can wear. Now, how awesome would this card be that you give to your girlfriend and you're like, hey, just, you know, for a pop of confidence. So, and then you can even dress up this card even more by adding the flowers to the outside. So you've got your embellishments. Um, I do not have a lot of dies in the A7, but if you do, um, by all means, this would look perfect. Um, you could run this through uh, if you had frame dies for, for A7 cards um, and make your stitching around. But I think um, that would dress up the card. I would, if, I, if I did have those dies, I would definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's a oh, I for, keep forgetting theirs. Um, but I I honestly think it's cute. I mean, so um so let's let's go through this. It's it's really it's not as intricate as Timothy's. It it's it's I mean, what he did was very detailed, <laughs> extremely detailed. So, um but let's go ahead and go through the process of um m making this um real quick here and I'll just show you step by step um, so I've got my two card bases here I've got my I mean my card uh, maps I got my card base here um, obviously that's gonna go on there um, and then what I'll do is I didn't want to do too much cutting just because of the way that I'm set up but I am going to stand up over here and run this I want. This way you can get a whole view of, the, now this is in my crafting space, as you know. So actually we don't need these extra ones. Um, I craft in the kitchen, so I'm intruding on Matthew's space. <laughs> So, since we're going to use this as um, your card front, you definitely want to want to tape this down. I kind of got crooked on I in the frame. Nope. There we go. Okay, I kind of got crooked on mine. So. tape is actually really sticky all right let's run this through hi Cheryl how are you thanks for joining us so these negatives, as always, you kind of want to save. I um, 
what some people do is like uh you can save them i i save i save my smaller stamps and uh um in the little small baggies sometimes i'll I'll put these in the uh, let me sit back down sometimes I'll put these in a bigger baggie just depending on the I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of them so I think I'll have to get one of the big ziploc or the sandwich bags and put those in but I like saving those because you can grab them um quickly all right so one of the things about making shaker cards as you know I love them uh, one of the things about making shaker cards on a bigger scale is you need to have more support so let's get oops how are you guys all doing today or tonight this is the evening um i actually went to a card class today and so i have been crafting all day <laughs> there we go actually oh, i'm already there i either use glue or i use um not the real sticky adhesive tape the runner uh, because i definitely can never get these straight and I cut it kind of short, but as we all know, there's no. Cheryl says she's doing well, can't complain since it's Saturday. Amen. And it's a beautiful Saturday. Is it beautiful where you're at? It's definitely beautiful here. So now I know I'm going to cut off the bottom. At least I don't have to cut off the sides. But yeah, every time I'm, I'm doing this on my own or I cut out my own instead of using a die, I definitely get it short, <laughs> shorter. When you guys use your, um, I use, I used to use the flat one, um, but this one I got the Tim Holtz and it still cuts crooked. Do, do you, do you have that problem with your, um, either your guillotines or your regular trimmers? Do you? Does it go off to the side? It seems like it works well for the first couple of days and then it's, it seems to go off to the side. I don't know. I, ha I, I don't have the best eyes, but okay. So um, I know sometimes foam and smaller, now um, foam and smaller strips are hard to come by. Um, but Timothy did show you those foam strips that he works with. I have those as well. Um, since this is going to be a bigger space, but I still need those smaller, um, I went ahead and went with this size. Um, this size, is, to me, is gold <laughs> because it's hard to find. Um, but because what, what I'm going to run into is the sides right here. I don't, I don't want those to really be seen. So, um, And one of the things when I'll show you here is when we lay down the the um see i'm all flustered when i lay down the what is this called <laughs> oh my goodness okay foam tape there we go when i lay down the foam tape um i try and get it close to i knew you were gonna say that gwen thank you <laughs> Gwen to my rescue. I don't know what I'd do without you. Um, when I lay this down, I try and get it as close to the size as possible. Because one of the things when you make full size shaker cards, I don't care who you're giving it to, they're always going to look at the sides. Um, so I try and make it look as nice as possible. All right, so I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of tape. So one of the things um, when you're trying to measure with, I'm just gonna put down one layer, but I would suggest if you're making your card that you put two, so that way your embellishments can go as freely as they need. 
So two things you need to think about when making a bigger shaker card um, with a bigger area. One, you want to kind of, you can try and cut down on your area where the shaker bits go. So you don't use less shaker bits. And, um, and two, you want the support. Because what happens is, is when I put my card on here, this literally right in here falls to the ground because it's a wider section, correct? So what I like to do is take my foam tape. Now some of you may have better uh, processes, but this is what I like to do. So first off, I'm gonna cut this portion, I'm not cut, I'm gonna cut it off with foam tape, um, meaning that my shaker bits, you can also lay it side by side, sorry, let me get in the frame here. Um, so that way my shaker bits don't go all the way up here and they're pretty much in the window frame. And then I'm I'm this is how I do the the sides. I take it, measure it, because I want support here. I want it to go all the way out. Okay. And then and what's great is if you make a mistake or you go out too far, which I think I did right there, um it's always can always trim a little bit off. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Or you could even go like that. And depending on what you're making or how big the space is, I mean, I would even go up in some here and here and down here, and then you can even reinforce down here. Um, and that, what that is going to do is switch out here. What that is going to do is it's going to reinforce your space. So with this one, I didn't get too crazy because I doubled. So it brings it up a little bit more as well. So let's see if this one here, yeah, looks good. Okay. So actually, I'm even going to, since this is going to be my finished card.
My check. Okay. I think you guys can should be able to hear me now. If you... Oh. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> Talking. All right, you guys should still be able to hear me. Um, give me some thumbs up or some hearts if you can hear me. Switched off that page, didn't? So can they hear me? You guys, hear me? Why saying they can hear me? Oh, okay. There it is. All right. Great. And him have just been having a wonderful time today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I think we're 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 back up and we're good. All right. Okay. Real quick here. Thank you so much for being patient. I really appreciate it. There is just um, some type of energy around here that's going on. We normally don't have this many problems. Okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna be working on a raise around here. <laughs> a raise? <laughs> He's so silly. You're not getting nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's gonna give me flack about this one. All right. So, um, one of the things you want to do, um, just if if your foam die is super sticky, uh, is use one of the embossing. Um, if if you have an embossing buddy, embossing bag. Um, just run it through so that way the, all of your embellishments are going to be um, free-flowing and will, will, uh, willing and able to shake. All right. So just throw all these in here because I think this the big. Sorry about that. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen says she wants uh, actually he, uh, he, he can do that I think we do have a disco ball he can definitely play music instead of listening to me <laughs> alright so we've got all of our actually I don't know why I put that up there but Okay. Gwen ready for that club life. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Gwen's ready to party. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. I think we are we are almost there. I wish let's just More is better, huh? <laughs> All about it. Now, if it's glitter, it'd be everywhere. I'll probably take some. That's okay. All right. I want this in full effect. I want to be... Aw. I feel like this car needs, like, that... Okay, see? All right, that's... I think that's exactly why I didn't do that. I could have done it on the other car, but no worries. This was my first mistake today. I would be... There we go. All right, let's get our, um, so, uh, sometimes when you have a dye and you wanna uh, cut your acetate, um, you don't need a dye to cut it. You can literally just measure the back. And all I did was just cut out the portion that I need for, um, for my dye. And I'm just gonna take my tape. I like to use tape for this because um, um, there's one thing I did wanna show you. See, I get so, so flustered when, um, when these things go wrong, then I forget my whole plan, even though I have it written down. Um, on some of these, going back to the ones that I showed you before, um, 
I have two other things that I wanted to, I wanted to show you that you could dress it up. I know um the creativity level is just amazing with our design team and I think some of them have already oh wow have already used uh string and feathers and <laughs> All, all of the the wonderful items that you don't think to use when crafting. Actually, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. Uh, I have some, another thing that, some brads that would be cute. For like on the belt, some flower brads. I'll show you. I'm trying to get through this. All right. So we're going to peel up the tape. It is normally not this crazy. I know this is my second live with um crappy boy. It's wait, it generally settles down. <laughs> I think I had um my first two lives that I did kind of kind of wild, but we'll settle down and we'll get into a a rhythm. Oh goodness. But this I, I'm glad these things are happening because I know that they happen to everyone. And none of us are obviously perfect and it does. It happens all the time. So you can still use it. I'm just gonna go up a little bit higher. Just make sure my window is closed. Nothing fancy, not going to be seen. So then I think we are ready to put on the top. And we are. Actually, I won't let you sit through that. But, um, yeah, I want to finish it. I want to hear it shake. I like when um, you have the bigger shaker cards and a lot more of the the embellishments where you can... Shake, shake. <laughs> UT saying hi. My other cat, uh, her name is Olivia. She is over here talking. I don't know if you can hear her, but mommy normally speaks to her, so I think she thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring this off camera so I can see. So, excuse me. Hoping that we're getting, there we go. Okay. And see how where I put the the extra foam in here? It's it brought it up and it's not collapsing. So, yay, so excited. Okay. So I think um, it's hard for me just to do clean and simple cards. Um, but I need to learn <laughs> learn how to start doing them. Uh, but I feel like this needs a couple of embellishments or a couple of the flowers maybe at the top. What do you guys think? Leave it alone or put some flat. Well, I don't have any more flower. Well, I do, but they're not with me. But Or should I, when I take a picture of it, should I have more of these flowers up in here? That turned out great. Thank you so much, Timothy, for the inspiration. Actually, all the lives that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uploading them to um, Scrappy Boy YouTube channel. So, um, and hopefully, hopefully get into making a little bit more uh, video content. Uh, that's the next thing I'm getting into. But before you go, I wanted to show you um, another thing. One quick thing, the more ideas I can get, I feel like the better I've done my job. Um, so with the, the, we'll call it the mini dress, <laughs> with the mini dress, I don't know if you guys, thank you, Timothy. 
Um, Thank you, Diane. Oh, hi, Diane. How are you? Um, one of the things um, that I inherited was a bunch of on camera here. Yes. <laughs> one of the things I inherited was a bunch of brads. <laughs> so to never have, I guess, too many brads. <laughs> but um, I'm th I'm so thankful because they've they've come in handy. But I thought these cute um, flower brads would, um, you know, would work. Or, I mean, hey, you could literally do do any any of these. But it's just another idea. Um, and you know, you could literally. I would probably cut this off and then just tape it. But something like that, you could do real flowers. I think one of our design team, um, maybe Kelly did real flowers. Um, sorry if it was someone else and I didn't give you credit. I try and get credit. I try and remember. Um, it's just everything's phenomenal. The, the, um, Yes, um, Diane says use um, use little brads as button down top middle of dress. So on our other one, where um, you have the the extra top, or just if you have that's a good great C. This is where this is why I like like to say these things get people thinking, and something else makes you think of something. But she was thinking the buttons all the way down. That would be perfect. Great idea, Diane. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, Diane, our party was supposed to start at five. It, it just started a little bit ago. So you are not late. You are not late. Another thing, just to, to get you thinking, you can do, um, instead of this white, we could do, I've got, I, you know, I mean, hey, how adorable and then you could do a bow in the front then i was also thinking what made me i don't know why but somehow incorporate you know i it's just so many endless possibilities but we've got the yeah i didn't think that one would go um see look how cute okay so the main point of the live is if you have the dress dye, get to playing with it. Get out there. Um, show me show me your creative designs. I would love to see them in the inspiration group. Um, you know, make sure if you haven't